poppin' family. It's the one and only, your friend, your homie, Juice. Wait, right. and we back at it. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If it's not your first time, welcome back. First and foremost, happy Friday, guys. And what's better than to start the weekend off with a message from the GOAT? Two GOATs. J. Cole, Jermaine, Cole, and Jonah Lucas. Your heart. So with that being said, let me shut up and let's see what they spitting on. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, okay, okay. Ladies, if I do have any ladies that's watching this video, if you live with a dude and he cheat on you, now I don't know if this is strictly Joyner's house. Probably is, you know, since it's his, you know, since he's rich or whatnot. But why would you trash the house? Especially if they married. I know if he not married, but in other circumstances, why well, trash the house? I understand his stuff. By all means, you know, car, clothes, jewelry, all that, you know, game systems, you know, that's all on the table. But the sofa? It was a nice sofa at that, man. Shit. You mad, man, huh? <laughs> all right, let's get to it. The table? The jewelry. Damn. Hey, Shorty is on demon time, boy. Smash the Mac the table she put her little tag on the bed already slashed through the sofa i don't know i think she about to sell the jewelry i don't know what she's doing with the jewelry but she packed that shit up hey man this house ain't gonna be standing by the end of this video <laughs> This is like some Christmas past Dr. Scrooge fuck nigga shit when J. Cole stepped in, bro. Is she fucking a different dude right now in their bed? And Joyner is watching? And then Joyner, and then Cole peeped that shit out? Nigga said, I hate a fuck nigga. I used to be a fuck nigga. You can't blame it if she fuck niggas. I mean, that's facts. And the fact that Joyner just like, he was stain face, like, I can't even say nothing. That's just the first line. All right, Cole. Let's get it. You Hey, I got to pause this one more time because he said something. When you was creeping through the AM, through the PM, he used to slide in the DM. And on automatic, she used to curve that. I salute every woman and dude that is truly loyal to their significant other. 
Because loyalty is hard to come by. So to my wife, if you ever see this, I love you. You know I'm loyal, and I know you loyal. We got this on lock, you feel me? But yeah, man, loyalty is hard to come by these days. And a lot of these good girls and good dudes are getting messed over for a fling. Sad to say. She gave him the jewelry. Nigga said, now you caught all those niggas in her phone. Your bitch ass can't say nothing because you doing her the same. Nigga, we are too old for games. And that's facts, man. Like, in my opinion, I feel like once you hit that 20, once you hit the 20, um, 25 mark, you starting to get too old for games. You know, teenagers, I ain't even counting that shit because we all young and dumb. It's all the way up to 21. That 23, that 22 to 24 range, though, you really starting to get that. You really starting to figure out who you are as a person and what you and what you want in your significant other. Or if you even want a significant other. By that range, by that age, you know if you want to be a professional hoe and marry these streets, I'll get somebody to settle down with. You feel me? And like J. Cole said, at a certain point, we all going to be too old for games. I love this, man. I don't think anybody else would have been perfect for this song on this feature with you, um, other than Cole. Maybe Kendrick. I could see Kendrick getting something. Or you could, uh, a few simps, you know, Drake might come in. But I, I don't think it would hit the same with Drake. J. Cole is the right pick. She was fucking with a dog, huh? You never thought you'd see the day that she was gone, huh? But you was wrong, huh? And yeah, you was wrong, huh? Mm. It's not as bad as she ain't as a real cause, huh? She VIP, she out here fucking with the stars, huh? Some other nigga got it now, he bout to spoil her. You could've spoiled her. They bet you starved her, yeah, yeah. The vocals, Cole? Mmm. Mm. Hey man, this song is for real niggas and real women. For real, for real. I love it. This is a great way to start off a Friday. So for those who's about to go out on that late night creep, that link app, listen to this song. Especially if you have somebody at home waiting on you or somebody at their apartment thinking about you when in reality you stepping in somebody else, you know, pants. But ain't none of my business, you feel me? Like, I hate. We loyal over here, loyal squad, loyal, <laughs> loyal squad, loyal gang, all that. We don't do this loyalty over here, you feel me? So, if y'all enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe. Run it up if y'all loyal. <laughs> you made it this far, thank you. Juice out.